my last lecture, I covered Sigmund Freud's psychosexual development, and the topic of penis envy was introduced. In this lecture, I will dive a bit deeper into Freud's concept of penis envy, and also a rebuttal from Karen Horney when she introduced the concept of womb envy. Penis envy is a theory in Freudian psychoanalytic theory that proposes that very young girls feel deprived and envious that they do not have a penis. These feelings later lead to a desire for access to a penis and normal heterosexual development. Sigmund Freud developed penis envy as part of his theory of psychosexual development. Within this theory, a child progresses through several stages of development, each of which contains a sexual conflict that the child must resolve to become a healthy adult. According to Freud, penis envy is a stage of development experienced only by female children and occurs when a girl first notices the difference in male and female autonomy and longs to have a penis of her own. He suggested that this moment is critical for sexual awareness and gender role differentiation in women. After a girl realizes she lacks a penis, she may be envious of boys. She may then begin to sexually desire her father and blame her mother for her apparent castration, longing for the death or disappearance of her mother. To cope with this conflict, a girl begins to mimic her mother, but later realizes she cannot have her father. To cope with this fact, her sexual desire is displaced onto men generally, making the beginning of heterosexuality. Now, there are lots of criticisms of this theory. There is little empirical evidence that penis envy actually occurs, and the theory has been heavily criticized, particularly by feminist scholars. They argue that to assume a girl envies and desires a penis is to assume that women are substandard, a misogynistic stance. Some feminist followers of Freud have reframed the theory that penis envy is not about actual envy of the penis, but about envy and resentment for the social power according to the male gender role. Now, one of these female theorists is named Karen Horney. German-born American psychoanalysis who departed from some of the basic principles of Sigmund Freud suggested an environmental and social basis for personality and its disorders. Although she adhered in the main to the outlines of Freudian theory, Horney early began to disagree with Freud's view of female psychology, which he treated as an offset of male psychology. Unaffected by the worshipful awe that held many early Freudians to received dogma, she forthrightly rejected such notions as penis envy and other manifestations of male bias in psychoanalytic theory. She argued instead that the source of such female psychiatric disturbance is located in the very male dominated culture and had produced Freudian theory. She introduced the concept of womb envy, suggesting that male envy of pregnancy, nursing, and motherhood of women's primary role in creating and sustaining life led men to claim their superiority in other fields. 
her ideas on female psychosexual development were given particular attention after Feminine Psychology, a collection of her early papers on the subject that was published in 1967. It's a great read. You should actually go out and read some of her writings and tell me about it. <laughs>